We have had a ton of rain this summer and I noticed this piece in my living room started growing mold and I wanted to do something with it anyways. And so I'm going to show you guys how to get a ceruse oak finish on here and say hi to Rupert. He's super, super cute. The first thing that I did was took Green Ease Strip and Clean Finishing Cleaner and I sprayed the entire piece with this. So this was at 100% concentration. So I didn't water it down at all. And I sprayed it on here. Now I want you to know that this piece is an older piece. And so the finish on it is not a super solid factory finish. I've done this a few times on pieces like this and it all usually comes out the same exact way. So I'm gonna spray this on the piece and then I take one of the Scotch Bright pads and I'm just going to scrub and scrub and scrub and then I wipe down with water and then I repeat the process a couple times so that I can scrub the entire finish off of here. I know it seems like, oh my gosh, you're gonna strip this finish off, but it really does strip old finishes off. You can see right here, all of that finish that it's taking off. So if you repeat this process a few times using the cleaner at 100% and then rinsing it off after, once it dries, this is what it looks like. So I let it sit overnight so it was fully dry. You can see that it's taken the finish pretty much all the way off. And then what I did is I went through with my three by four electric ray and I used a 120 grit and I am going to sand down this entire piece. Now there are legs and there's spindles. And so I used a medium pad for my three by four electric ray by surf prep and that helped sand off the rest of the finish on here. Damn feeling lucky how about most G's us doing these cheese diamonds on my feet caught up in these talks circling my head top should have been Cautious, now I got what I wanted. Many of it here before, made it out of love and more. Like my phone, codex, so I can't stop. I want it all. Oh, listen up, I'm calling you. I need you to tell the truth. Remember when you wanted. Once I was done sanding everything, I took a stiff wire brush, and you want to go with the grain. And really, this is in particular for oak pieces. People have asked me before, can you do this on different woods? But oak has a really deep wood grain. And so I wouldn't suggest it for other types of woods. I think oak is probably the best kind of wood to do this with. So I took the stiff wire brush and then I brushed it off. And then I'm gonna take a white wax. This is Jolie's wax. And I'm gonna go in the opposite direction of the wood grain and do circles. The reason why I'm going in the opposite direction is so that I can push that wax into the wood grain. And then I'm going to do this on the entire piece. Now, this piece is not going to be something that I use very often, okay? So it doesn't have heavy traffic. So I am literally just going to use this white wax for this entire piece to create the ceruse finish and to seal it because it's just gonna sit in my living room. So if you are using a piece or you're going to do a piece that has higher traffic, then I would suggest you follow this video for you to be able to do that. But then what I did is I took a microfiber cloth and I went in the opposite direction. And what that did is wipe off the excess and it pushed it into the wood grain. And then these are the final results. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the ocean. Countryside is so pretty. 